All right, so the next thing I want to do in this exercise is cutting those two holes that we have at the bottom. Okay, so we have a one inch circle over here that we want to cut 1.25 in depth and another circle over here that we want to cut all the way to three inches in depth. To double check on that, make sure you go back to your drawing. You're going to see those two circles, one inch in diameter and 0.25 in diameter. Okay, this is going to be the circle right here. That's going to be cut all the way 1.25 in depth and another circle that's going to be cut all the way three inches in depth. So let's go ahead and create that extrude cut. Okay, so come over here under Revolve, uh, Extrude Solid. Make sure you select that first circle. You're going to have to do that first circle first, and then you create the second circle. Okay, so you create that first circle first, and click on OK. Select that um, uh, one, and then you want to make sure that you have Cut Selected, and then you want to make sure that the direction of it is reversed. So go ahead and reverse all to reverse the direction of it. Okay, and you've done this before the extruding the extrude cut scroll down over here and you want that distance to be 1.25 okay after you're done with that click on ok to accept it and you're gonna if you scroll down a little if you scroll your uh, piece a little bit you're gonna notice that it did cut it just like it um, just like you wanted so the next thing you want to do is do the same thing for this smaller circle and do it three inches deep so go ahead and create another extrude cut now, one thing I wanted to show you real quick while we're doing this stuff, I created my extrude cut, but I didn't name it what I wanted to name it. Well, you can go back over here, click on that section again. So if you click twice, not too fast, you can actually rename it. Okay, so I'm going to click on that Hit space. You know, if I wanted to, you know, one inch. So I want to type in one point. So I know this is for the bigger circle and go back again and create another extrude solid. Select the smaller circle, click on OK. Oops, I must have selected something else. As you can see, I have. I actually accidentally selected the geometry that's on another plane. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that. Make sure I do not do that. OK, I want to make sure that I select the right geometry. So go back to Extrude Boss, select your circle, and go ahead and click on OK. And again, you want a cut body. And this is not going to really take effect until you go past this section right here. So past the 1.25. And the reason why it doesn't show any preview is because your last cut was up to 1.25. So you want to change this to 3.0. Hit enter. And then if you go back to the middle, you're going to see that it does drill it all the way through. And, but not through the part, which is exactly what we want it. We want it to be three inches deep. So now that you have that done, click on OK to accept that. And there you go. And you have just completed your chest piece. OK, so one thing we talked about in our previous session is creating the geometry all on different levels. The reason for that is because now, remember, I created all my solids on level number two and all of the geometry on level number one. Well, if I want to take my geometry out, so I'm only looking at the solid, all I have to do is come over here under level. And this is your level manager. If you're not familiar with this, we're going to be going over it a lot more in our design DVD. It's going to be going over it in detail. But you can actually click on any of these levels and rename them. So this one, I can call it geometry. And then this one, number two, I can name it solids. And it will tell you there is 13 entities. There's 13 entities created in geometry. And over here, there's only one solid because we've only created one solid body. If it's a more than one body, it will tell you more than one body. The nice thing about this is there's a visible check mark, basically. And it tells you uh, which ones are showing. So if I do not want my uh, geometry to show, all I have to do is click on this X right here. I'm going to click on OK right now to accept the naming. Go back. And you have to not be on the level that you want to make invisible. So if I'm on the geometry, if I click on it, I can only make the number two not visible, which is my uh, model with my solids. OK, and I'm going to click on it again. and You're going to see it appear again. So for you to make the geometry not visible, you actually have to switch levels. So go ahead and click on this or uh, click on the down arrow of level number one and select number two. 
it's off my screen so it's actually at the bottom right here underneath it so you'll see a selection and a way for you to choose between solids and geometry so now that we're on level number two go ahead and click on levels make the geometry invisible and click on ok and you're going to notice that all of your geometry that you've used to create your model is gone and now you just have one nice smooth solid piece and that's what you want okay so there you go this concludes our session you've learned a few new features over here um, including the the creation of levels in the levels manager the revolve chess piece to learn how to revolve your piece and as long as you know a few new things in geometry creation as well so this concludes our lesson and we are now ready to go to exercise number three